YouTube, it's Lori. I have a new tutorial for you today. I'm gonna make some little chicken egg hand soaps. I'm gonna make a bunch of different colors since Easter is coming up. You can use them as Easter gifts. You could even make some little hand soaps if you if you had a baby shower, if you were doing a chicken theme, a little baby chick theme. It's a very easy project to do. So let's get started here. First, you're gonna need a soap block. You can buy this at the craft store. It's just meltable soap, makes it really easy. I like to melt mine in here. So you just need something that you can melt your soap in. I like this one because then I can just pour it right into the mold. It makes it very easy. I bought these soap colorants so we can make different colors. If you don't want to color your soap, you, could, you don't need that. You can just use the white. And then I bought this scent. I like coconut, so we're gonna scent our soap with coconut. And these are just some different ideas I got from Joanne at the craft store. I thought these were cute little birds. Um, it's a nice way to present the soap for a gift. You could wrap it up in cellophane and put a bow on it. These would fit perfect in a bathroom so that this can be used as hand soap. I found these cute little things on clearance, just a little soap holder. Okay, and then they had all kinds of cute little Easter baskets. And I found this one, so it'd be really, really sweet if you put a bunch of little eggs in there. Uh, and then I'm going to make another video that shows you how to make your own nest. Just using some of this uh, vine garland and some accents. So if you want to make your own nests to save money, I can show you how to make those. I forgot to mention about the mold, which is obviously a very important part. I bought this on Etsy. And it just is an, an egg mold. It's very easy to use. It was not very expensive. You can probably make your own mold if you wanted to, but... Um, it was just easier to buy it because they weren't they weren't very expensive. So that's what we're going to be using to make our soap. The first step is to open your soap. You can use a knife to cut through. It's actually really soft. It's like cutting cheese. Don't cut your counter countertop. Okay. Put that in here, or I'm going to put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds. So I did 30 seconds, and then I kind of stirred it up. Did another 30 seconds, stirred it up, and then about 15 more seconds until the soap was completely melted. It's just a liquid now. So just give it a good stir here. Next we're going to add our coloring. I'm going to try this purplish color. I'm not sure what color it really is, but we're going to give it a try here. I'm just going to put a few drops in and stir it up. It's kind of a purplish, light purple color. Very pretty. I'll put a couple more drops in there. About five drops, I think. And then I'm going to put a couple of the coconut scent in there. Now we're ready to pour it into the mold. I'm going to put a rubber band around the top of this mold. It just keeps it from coming apart so that it all stays together. I'm just going to slowly pour until I fill up the mold. Got it a little full there, that's fine. And what I'm going to do is actually set this in the refrigerator until it's completely hardened. Then we'll demold it and then we'll pour our next egg. Okay, this is set up, so now it's time to demold. Take off the rubber band. Here's where it opens up. You can just kind of pop, pop it out. Like that. And of course you can take off this little piece on the bottom. 
You can use your knife to kind of smooth it out if you wanted to. So there's our pink Easter egg. So now all you have to do is just, we've already colored this soap, all you have to do is reheat this in the microwave and pour the next one. And I just do that until I use up all the soap that I've colored. And then we can move on to the next color. Okay, so this is how all my little pink egg soaps turned out. They turned out really good. Now I'm ready for the next color. So I've already taken a block of my soap and melted it in this container. And now I'm going to add a little bit of color. My little t bottle was clogged up, so I had to take the top off. Okay. Add a couple drops of our coconut scent. These are going to be orange. It's a pretty color. Now we're going to pour it into our soap mold again. Okay, now that's going to go into the refrigerator until it hardens. Okay, now we're ready to demold. This has been in the refrigerator, so it's nice and hard. I found if I kind of push from the bottom, it comes out the easiest. There it is. And again, you can just kind of carve off the extra soap on the bottom to make it nice and smooth. Now we're ready to pour the next one, and I'm going to finish pouring this. I don't think I have enough to pour a full egg, so I'll put in what I have left, and then when I pour the next color, it might be a two-colored egg. You could probably make different designs if you wanted. Just a little time-consuming if you do it that way, if you only have one mold. If you had a bunch of molds, it would make it really easy. And then I'll show you the final product. Okay, I made some green ones, some orange ones, some pink ones, and I did make a purple one, although the purple one really looks the same as the pink one. But I think they turned out pretty cute for a su super easy and cheap um, gift. I put my little one of my little silicone babies in the nest, just I thought it looked adorable. Put some little bunny ears on her. I'm going to do a tutorial to show you how to make your own nest. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use these as teacher's gifts, actually, so I'm going to make some of my own nests and then wrap them up in cellophane, so I'll show you how to do that. Otherwise, you can just buy your own nest or soap holder at, at Hobby Lobby or Joanne. And it's easy cleanup because soap is easy cleanup compared to candles, which I've also tried and it was a complete mess. So I love making soap. Easy to melt, easy to pour, and adorable gifts. So thank you guys for watching my video. Have a great day.